we go. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Luis Morales here, health fitness specialist. And if you're looking at this, you're looking at the live class, uh, Abs and Core with Luis on this Tuesday evening uh, in mid-December. So welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. What we're going to be doing today, um, if you've been to my classes before, pretty standard um, format here. What we're going to be doing is six different movements. One of them is going to be a bilateral movement. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a little creative with the rounds this week. We did this last week in my regular boot camp class. And that we're going to go round one is going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Round two is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And then round three, we're going to get really quick, 50 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest. So I'm going to get into what exactly we're going to be doing movement wise. Then we'll get into the warm up, workout, cool down, and we'll get out of here. So to start off, we're going to go with the dead bug to hollow. So <clears throat> lying on the back here, we're going to be alternating between two positions. We're not going to go for the full hollow hold today. So lying on our backs, core is really tight, knees bent, arms starting up here, reaching for the ceiling. What we're going to do is take those legs and arms away from each other, maintaining that nice tight core, pressing our back, even the low back, into the mat, and then bringing the arms and legs kind of back to center to bend those knees as well. So in real speed, we'll kind of look like this. We want to pause just for a moment when we get out to that hollow position, make sure we can hold it for just a sec, and then bring it back in. Next one, this is our bilateral one, something we did last week as well, side plank plus the abduction. So being on our knees here, having those knees stacked on top of each other, and then going from the elbow, we're going to be in this nice half kneeling, or this kneeling plank, I should say. But that top leg, once we get settled in this position, we're going to move that top leg up, work that glute. And so you'll notice you won't really see my foot behind my leg here because I'm not doing any extra rotation. I'm not taking the knee higher than the foot or the foot higher than the knee. The knee wants to be nice and even with the foot as you activate that glute. We don't have to come up super, super high, just as high as your glute will allow you to. You guys will probably start to feel nice and tight in that glute by the second or third round. So we're gonna do both sides of that. Next up, it's the eccentric plank to pike. Now, eccentric, just a really fancy word for taking it nice and slow on the way down. So when we think about that plank to pike, we're starting with our plank, we push up kind of into downward dog or the pike position. And from here, tightening the abs up really tight, we're gonna take it nice and slow on the way down back into our plank position. And this will help us kind of find that perfect plank position and also just help us activate the muscles, kind of learn how to use the body's brakes so to say, to take it back down in that position instead of moving super fast. We're just taking it in the hips down slow and then regular speed, pushing the hips back up. Last two, we're gonna be on the ground as well. So second to last one is our reverse crunches. Now you guys can spread the arms out. Let's go palms up, make sure we're not cheating in any way. Keeping the knees bent. Back all the way on the ground, we want to really tighten that stomach up and try and bring the knees up. It's okay also if the back of your hips or glutes come up a little bit. We don't want to rock too much and start using momentum, but let those legs or feet come into contact with the ground. Use that stomach, bring them up, set them back down, and then we'll go through it all over again. We really want to feel this kind of lower to mid stomach. Imagine bracing as if someone were to hit you with a stick in the stomach that'll usually help bring those legs up. Last thing is a classic core exercise. We're gonna resist um, the extension of the spine with just the normal plank. Now you guys have an option here. You guys can either be up nice and high with this plank or you can be down on the elbows. Me personally, I'm gonna opt for down on the elbows just to switch it up a little bit tonight. But what we're practicing here, resisting that extension in the spine, we're also trying to practice our breathing with the core really tight in this position. If you can breathe with the core really tight, you'll be able to start to train to do this movement for a very long time. All right, good stuff there. If anyone has any questions, feel free to shout them out, put them in the chat, I'll be looking for that. Let's go ahead and get into the warm-ups. We gotta warm up before we get into the, the workout itself. Let's start lying on our backs. 
We'll do a little bit of up, up, down, down. All right, guys, so lying on our backs, let's take a nice big deep breath. Nice long exhale, exhale until all the air is out of your body. You're gonna feel that tummy tighten up, low back press into the ground. Keep that position, bring one leg up, knee bent, other leg up, knee bent, first leg down, other leg down. All right, let's do this a few more times, keeping that position in the core all the while. You should feel no change in how much of your back is touching the ground as we move the hips here. Just getting the core ready to experience that hip movement. Supported or unsupported, we wanna make sure we can on demand snap into that good core posture here, pressing the low back into the ground. All right, one more time. Up, up, down, down. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Okay, let's flip over onto hands and knees. While we're not gonna be doing this movement today in this class, it's always great to practice and it's a great warm up for the shoulders and the rest of the body. So with those hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips, go ahead and curl those toes up under you. Press down through those toes so we get our knees about an inch up off the ground. Back's nice and flat, core's tight here. Let's just take a few breaths. Nicely done, you guys. One more breath. All right, we can put those knees down. Nicely done, you guys. All right, core is feeling pretty warm. Bodies are feeling pretty warm. Let me go ahead and set up the clock and then we will get it going. So reminder, round one, we're gonna be working for 40 seconds. Round two, it's 45. Round three, it's gonna get quick. We're gonna go for 50. All right, shooting for about 18 minutes of of work here guys with a little bit of rest peppered in there. We're gonna be starting with that dead bug to hollow. And if you want to um, challenge yourself a little bit with this one, go ahead and grab that water bottle. I'll show you how to do it here in just a moment. All right, we're gonna go going three, two, one. All right, we're going, we're starting on our backs. So if you wanna challenge yourself, grab that water bottle. We're gonna move the water bottle away from our legs overhead just for a moment and then bring it back to center here. So extend, big exhale as we bring the arms and the legs back to the center. Good job, you guys, good job. Good, big exhales as we bring those legs back in. Good work. Whole back should stay on the ground here. Three, two, one, and we're resting. Good job, you guys, won't need the water bottle for anything else. All right, let's go ahead and find that good position on our sides with the side plank here. The knees are gonna be stacked. We're also gonna be supporting ourselves with the shoulder and the elbow. All right, three, two, one. Let's get that side plank position first. All right, once we find that good position, we can start moving that top hip. So keep that core tight, activate the glute. Good work, you guys, good work. Funny analogy to, or a funny cue to help you think about this one. Think about raising your leg like you were a dog about to leave your mark on a fire hydrant. Good work, use that glute. Keep a straight line with the side plank. Great work guys, we got eight seconds left and we're switching over to the other side. Good work, good work. Three, two, one, and we're resting. Nicely done, nicely done, all right get into, try and find that position, nice straight line from the knees all the way up to the head. Take a deep breath, we got five seconds left here guys. Three, two, one, let's come up, find that nice straight line, and then raise that leg. Good work, good work. Good work, you might feel that other glute start to Talk to you a little bit because we were just moving it and now it's doing a nice contraction, pushing the ground away from us on that other side. Good work, you guys, good work. Nicely done. 
We got 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Keep that nice straight line. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, here we go. All right, so next up is that eccentric plank to pike. We're just coming, bringing our hips down super slow. Think about counting to three. Take those nice deep breaths now, guys, because once we get to the end of this workout, rest is going to be uh, minimal. Three, two, one. All right, guys, find that good plank position. Push those hips up with some power and then slowly with that tummy really tight, bring those hips back down. Nice plank position. All right, push those hips up. Tight tummy. We're bringing those hips down nice and slow with control. Good work, you guys, good work. Big exhales as we come down with those hips. Good work, you guys, good work. Should feel the core really tight the whole time here, especially as we come down. Whew. All right, last track of time. Let's go ahead and take this rest. Just lost a couple of seconds there. Next up is our reverse crunches. So we're going to be on our back. All right, you guys, three, two, one. Lay those arms out. Big exhale, squeeze the tummy muscles. Good work, you guys, good work. Remember, we're not rocking too much here. We don't want to use too much momentum. Just really want to squeeze those tummy muscles, bring them all the way into our chest. Good work, you guys, good work. We got five seconds. And relax. All right, guys, next up, you guys have a choice. It's either a plank on the elbows or high plank on the hands. Again, I'm gonna be sticking down on the elbows. All right, we got about five seconds of rest and we're going back to the top. And this will be our last 20 second rest period. All right, let's get into that plank, guys. Find that good position. Now we can just hang out, go to your happy place. Think of something that will kind of take you away from this moment maybe. Don't lose that form though. If you can lock that form in, take your mind elsewhere, that usually helps. Good work, you guys. Just breathe. We got 15 seconds left. Good work, guys. Breathe in that tight stomach. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, last 20-second interval of rest. We're going to be on our backs for the next one. We're starting up at the top with the dead bug to hollow. All right, you guys, grab your water bottles for this one. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, working for 45 seconds here. Big exhales as we bring the arms and legs back in. You want to challenge yourself here. Try and stay on that hollow position for maybe more than a second. It's really going to stress those core muscles out. It's really going to force us to um, press that low back into the ground. Here we go. 15 seconds. Good work, you guys. Good work. It's okay to move slowly as long as you're moving with control. Good work and time. <sighs> Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. All right, starting to burn in my stomach here. Next up, we're doing the side plank. So find that good side plank position. We got five seconds here. <sighs> Three, two, one. Let's come up on the elbow. Make sure we got a nice straight line between the knees and the head. Then we can start to move that top hip. <sighs> Don't lose that breathing. Remember, the top hip doesn't have to move super fast. Want to move with more control. Want to control that glute as we contract and relax. Lots of stuff to think about here. 
but we got 15 seconds left. We got it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. Nice work. 45 second round. Gonna fly right through it. All right, we got five seconds more of rest. Let's set ourselves up. <sighs> this other side plank, and then let's get into it. <sighs> Find that good side plank first, and then we can move the hip. <sighs> good work, you guys. Good work. Think about being the dog, leaving your mark on the fire hydrant. <sighs> Slow with control. We got 15 seconds. Keep pushing it. See if we can go unbroken again. We're almost there, guys. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. Gonna be on that high plank again. Going for the eccentric plank to pike. We got five seconds left here. Plant those hands under those shoulders, and let's get it going. So find that good high plank, push those hips up with force, and slowly let the abs bring you back to that nice plank position. Got to keep them really tight as we bring the hips down here, guys. Good work, good work. Make sure not to bring those hips down too low. Breathing through it, also using those shoulders. Almost done here. Three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Okay, reverse crunches up next. That means we're lying on our backs. We're almost done with round two. Workout's flying by. All right, three, two, one. Lay those arms out. Bring those legs up, rest them back down on the ground. Should feel like a really big tummy squeeze here, guys. Good work, good work. Think about trying to hug something or catch a piece of paper in between those thighs and your stomach. You want to trap that piece of paper there for just a sec. Good work, you guys. We're almost done here. Here we go. Three, two, one. And rest. All right, guys. On to the last one. That is the plank. Static plank here. And then we're moving on to our longer and final round. All right. Three, two, one. Let's find that plank. Making sure the tailbone is tucked. Remember, if you were in my class a couple of weeks ago, I explained why we don't want to be necessarily squeezing the glutes right now. We want, we're resisting that extension through the hips. So we don't want to squeeze a muscle whose job it is to extend the hips. So glute muscles relaxed, core muscles nice and tight, hip flexors are on. Trying to breathe into that really tight tummy here. <sighs> Got a few seconds left. Bear with me, here we go. <sighs> Three, two, one, and rest. Great job, you guys, great job. Okay, next session is gonna seem really, really quick. <sighs> Let's get down on our backs, prepare for that dead bug to hollow. Grab your water bottle if you're using it. Three, two, one. And we're going 50 seconds here, guys. Big exhales here. Lots of time in these rounds, guys. Don't be afraid to take a little break, take three seconds or a couple breaths, and then hop right back into it. We're going to maximize our time. 
Good work here. Good work. About 15 seconds left. We can do it. Three, two, one, and time. Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. Next up is those pesky side planks. Let's get into that position. Find that good position. Three, two, one, and we're up. Make sure the side plank is okay first, then we can move that hip. Good work, good work. Remember, we don't want that knee coming forward at all. We're just trying to take it up to the ceiling. You might feel the need to raise it up towards the ceiling, maybe a little bit behind you as well. It'll help activate our glutes and turn off those hip flexors. We don't want to compensate by using those hip flexors. Great work, guys. Great work. We're getting through it. We got 15 seconds left. Good work, good work. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Oh man, and rest. Glutes are gonna be feeling it tomorrow. Let's switch on over to the other side. Oh, get nice and aligned and it's time to go again. Find that good plank first, then we can move the hip. Good work, you guys. Try and maintain that nice line. Don't let those hips sag towards the ground. Good work, you guys, good work. Take a little rest if you need to. Give those muscles a time, a chance. If you really feel they're fatiguing, it's all right to give them a little rest. That's the point here, max fatigue. We're almost done. Three, two, one and we're resting. Nicely done. Okay, quickly, let's find that position for the plank to pike. Three, two, one. On the plank first, and then we push in the pike and slowly bring the hips back. Good work, you guys, good work. Want a nice, powerful push of those hips up, really utilizing power moves here in the shoulders make sure we can come back to center core nice and tight 20 seconds final 20 seconds of this one good work you guys good work coming down here five more seconds three two one and relax. All right, guys, on our backs. Reverse crunch is coming up next. It's the plank, and then we're done with the work portion here. All right, let's get it going. Let those arms rest. Reverse crunches. Good, like we're trying to trap a piece of paper in between those legs and our torso. And if you're doing this, and your range of range of motion isn't that far along, totally okay. It's just a target. It's just something to think about so we can activate the right muscles and eventually get there. Good work, you guys. Keep working. We got 15 seconds. Don't be using those arms to cheat. Three. Two, one, and we're resting. All right, guys, last 50 second interval. Let's knock it out of the park with this static plank. It's gonna seem like forever, but we're gonna be done before you know it. All right, let's get into it and go. Remember, no glute squeezing here. Just try and breathe. Good work, you guys, good work. I see you guys working hard here. Keep it up. Keep those tummies super, super tight. Zoom's giving me a little notification about the time being up soon. 
but I'm in the middle of this plank, can't move. <sighs> almost done here, guys. See if we can go unbroken. We're almost there. We got 10 seconds. <sighs> Let's push it. <sighs> almost done. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my God, awesome job, you guys, awesome job. Go ahead and rest. Stand up if you need to, get some water. Breathe a little bit. That's the timer telling me oh, that we're done. Great job, you guys. Great job. Okay, so workout wouldn't be complete without a little bit of cool down. Got to calm our bodies down a little bit after that, that nice effort. So what we're going to start with, we're going to start lying on our backs. We're going to do a little rear hip stretch since we were using those muscles during the side plank, lifting our hips up, acting like the neighborhood dog. So Come down onto our backs. Start to inhale through the nose a little bit here. Bring that right ankle, right ankle to rest up on top of that left leg. And from here, we can do two things. You can either grab around that knee, that right knee, pull in towards the chest and across the body. You'll be able to get a good rear hip stretch on the right. You can also elevate that left leg, grab onto that left leg. This will also aid you in a right rear hip stretch. Whatever one's most comfortable for you, let's find a medium stretch and then take a few breaths. The goal here is to make the exhales just a little bit longer than the inhales. Nicely done, you guys. Slowly release that leg. Let's switch it over to the other side. Same thing, you can grab around the knee or you can grab around the opposite hamstring, whatever stretch is better for you or suits you the best. Now let's focus on that breathing. Nicely done. You guys slowly release those legs, return them back to the ground, and then let's turn over onto our side, slowly push ourselves up, see if we can get into hands and knees, and then let's come up into a half kneeling position. So one knee on the ground, one foot out in front supporting us. What we're going to do is a little bit of hip flexor and hamstring stretching here. So with my left knee on the ground here, what I'm going to do, squeeze my left glute, push hips forward a little bit, find my abs. What we're gonna do, we're just trying to find a medium stretch in that hip flexor here, pushing hips forward just a little bit. Now let's focus on those belly breaths, letting the abdomen expand as much as it can. You also probably feel a little bit of a change in tension in the muscle that we're stretching. And that's the goal here. Breathing into muscles like this is a great way to force them to relax. They have no other choice but to relax a little bit and a little bit more on the next breath. All right, final exhale here, guys. Let's shift our weight back into that back knee, extend that front leg so now the heel's just resting on the ground. And let's lean forward a little bit, trying to reach for the shin, the ankle, the toes, whatever you have available to you. This is a great way to kind of stretch the hamstring out, stretch the calf out a little bit if you got those toes pointed up. Continue that breathing, kind of breathe into the low back. <sighs> Same thing here, guys. The goal is to use the breathing to help the muscles relax. <sighs> All right, great job, guys. Let's bend that front leg, slowly switch positions here. So whatever knee is on the ground, let's go ahead and put that one in front now. Go through the same checklist, trying to tilt the pelvis back, squeezing the glute, finding the abs in front, finding that medium hip stretch. And taking big breaths, trying to expand that front hip area. Good work, you guys, good work. Calming our bodies down. 
preparing for the evening for a possible meal soon. All right, let's shift the weight back into that back leg. Extend that front leg, rest the heel on the ground if you can. And then we're leaning forward. Again, trying to grab whatever we can to aid us in this hamstring stretch. Still breathing, still breathing into that low back, trying to feel the low back expand now. You guys did awesome tonight. So happy to see you guys here with me. This is the final live abs and core class of 2020. Now, if you're looking to, you know, come back to this workout and maybe try and do it a little better or a little quicker, go ahead and check out our YouTube because our YouTube does have all these classes recording or recorded, I should say, um, all our boot camp classes that Jazzy and I teach, um, as well as Jazzy's total body strength dumbbell class. I highly recommend that one because it's kind of, it's kind of hard to get to at 7 a.m. Um, on most Thursdays. However, if you want to go back and check out the recording, try and do some of that stuff, I promise it'll, it'll do you well. So if you guys are also looking for any other um, information or things, Exos, go ahead and check out our SharePoint and our Slack channel. That's where you guys are going to find the most um, as far as services, classes, everything that we offer, um, and other information. Great place to contact us as well. So I hope everyone has a great rest of your evening. Again, thank you so much for coming. It was great to see all of you. Uh, Heather, Larry, Daryl, Dan. Awesome. Dan, thank you for sharing in the chat. You guys are so awesome. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Luis. Yeah. That was great. You guys are awesome. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks, Luis. See ya.